Hello, welcome back to my channel, Stream and Go. I hope you're having a great day today. This video, we're going to be talking about three ways of how to free up space on your Fire Stick. Have you ever seen that message that comes up on your Fire Stick telling that you have no, no storage? Well, if you haven't, you will as long as you keep on installing all these apps and other things on your Fire Stick, such as movies and TV shows, free live TV, pictures and images. It, it will come up that you will have low storage. But this video, I'm going to help you with that and show you how to free up some of that, some of that space. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, hit the notification bell for you can receive my weekly videos. With that being said, let's get started with the first step of how to free up space on your Fire Stick. The first step is just simply uninstalling those applications that you no longer watch anymore. And so what we would do, we will hold down the home button on our remote. And once you hold down the home button on your remote, you will get this screen right here. And you see apps is already highlighted, so we'll just click on it. Now, what this does, this brings up all your apps that's on your Fire Stick. And you can just scroll down and see a lot of the apps that you have installed. And we're just going to delete a couple of them just to show you how to delete apps on your Fire Stick. So what we'll do, we'll just go to one. I'll just go to Dofu Sports. So I just click the three lines on my remote. And once I click the three lines on my remote, I have three options. I have it where I can move it to anywhere on my file stick, move it to the front of my file stick, or I can uninstall it. So what we want to do, we want to go down to where it says uninstall and just simply click uninstall. And it says, do you want to uninstall this app? You want to click OK. And you just give it a few seconds and we will see that it will disappear. And that's how you uninstall the app. We will do one more. And so we will take Zion, which no longer works anymore. So I definitely need to delete that off of my Fire Stick. So again, we'll click the three lines on our remote. We have your options, move, move to the front, uninstall. We'll just go down to uninstall. And we'll click it. Do you want to uninstall this app? OK. And we'll see Zion disappear. And therefore, the app is no longer on our Fire Stick. And that does free up a little space on your Fire Stick. So the first step is uninstall those apps on your Fire Stick that you no longer watch. That's the first thing. The second thing, we want to clear the cache. And it's real simple. So we want to go back to our home, our home screen. So we'll click the home button on our remote. And once we click the home button on our remote, we're at the home screen. So now we want to go over to settings. And once we go over to settings, we want to go over to applications. And once we highlight applications, we want to click on it. And we want to go down to manage and style applications. As you can see, my space, I don't have a lot of space on here. 819 megabytes out of 5.20 gigabytes. And so we want to click on Manage and Install Applications. And once you click on Manage and Install Applications, you see all your applications come up. And so what we want to do, just to show you how to clear the cache, we want to click on, um, we're going to take BTV. So we just take BTV and we just simply go down to the Clear Cache. Then we hit the back button and we'll go down to the next one, to Cinema HD. We'll click on it. And once again, we'll go down to Clear Cache. We hit the back button. And you do this for each and every one of your apps. You do all the apps that you have installed. And what it does, once you clear the cache, you free up a lot of space on your Fire Stick. We go down to Disney Plus, Clear Cache. We hit the back button, Downloader. Clear cache, and that's what you do. And I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go um, to each and every one of them clearing the cache because just a few of them I just done just to see, just to let you see how it's done. But I'll go back later and, and clear all the cache out of all my apps because I do need to free up a lot more space on my file stick as I, I am low. Uh, but that's how you pretty much uh, um, save up some space on your file stick, and that's the second way. So now we're gonna go to the third and final way. Of how to free up space on your fire stick. So what we'll do, we'll hit the home button on our remote and carry us back to the home screen. 
Now, what we want to do is install ES File Explorer. So we'll just go over to the search icon and we want to type in ES File Explorer. And as you can see, as I'm typing ES File Explorer, you can see it comes up at the bottom. So we just want to go down and highlight it and we want to click on it. As you can see, it's the first application. So we want to click it again. And now you can see you're ready to download. So we'll just click it again to download. As you can see, it's downloading. And after the downloading process is over, we want to start the installation process. And as you can see, the installation process has started. Now, we're ready to open it. So we're going to click open. As you can see, ES, ES Explorer, ES File Explorer File Manager is ready to launch. So we want to agree. We want to go down one. And you can highlight agree and just click agree. I do have a 4K file stick, so I click allow. Now, with this right here, you see where it says free trial. Do not click on free trial. Just go up to the corner and click that X. Don't even worry about that. So once we click that X, it'll carry us straight into the ES File Explorer. So you do not have to sign up for anything, for no free trial or anything like that. All we want to do is get into the File Explorer app, and that's what we did. So just remember to click that X up in that corner, and it'll carry you straight to this page right here. So as you can see, I have 85%. Um, so what we want to do, we want to lower that 85%. And we're going to just do a few things to see if we can lower it. We're going to focus on the top four, the music, movies, app, and images. And so what we'll do, the first thing we'll click on is music. Okay, let me find. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. But um, once you, you can see it, well, you can highlight music. And we'll click on music. And as you can see, I do not have any music. Okay, so that's not taking up any space on my file stick. So we want to hit that back button. We'll go over one. And we want to go over here and go over to movies. Okay, as you can see, I do have one movie in there, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, now I do not want that. So what do I do? I just click on it. I just hold it down. Don't, don't just click it, hold it down. Okay, and once you just hold your button down, you will go, you will get this little green check mark. And so what we'll do, we'll just go over and we'll just go down and we wanna go over to delete. And once we highlight delete, we'll delete it. Okay, we're gonna move it to the recycle bin and I will show you how to clean out your recycle bin. And so we'll just click okay. And as you can see, the movie has been moved to my recycle bin. Okay, we hit the back button on our remote. Now we wanna to go to app. Once we highlight app, we want to click on it. Okay, these are all my apps right here. All my user apps. But what we want to do first, we want to go over to all APKs. And these are all my APKs that will show up. And um, what we want to do, we want to delete these. You're not, actually, you're not actually deleting the app, but you're deleting like the installation files um, that uh, once you install it and you never delete the installation file, it comes up right here. So we'll just go over. And we want to hold down on our, and then we get the check mark and we just can go to each one. Okay, let me do it again. I hit it. Okay, hold it down. Now we just want to go over. There we go. And just we can just check each one. And we just go and just check each one. I have a lot of them from doing my, my blogging and everything, but we can just check all these out. I definitely don't need all these. And I'm just going to go ahead and stop right here because I have so many of them. So we're just going to stop right here. But I did check quite a few of them, as you can see. When we go over, we want to highlight delete. Okay, move to the recycle bin. Okay. Now, to clear out your recycle bin where we just moved those files to, we'll just simply go over, highlight recycle bin, and click it, and we'll do the same thing. I'm going to highlight it. And hold down that button and then we just want to go and just check each one as you can see i'm checking each one and 
And see, these are all the ones I just moved to my recycle bin. And so once we do that, we just want to go over, go down, and we want to delete. So we just click delete. And it says, are you sure that you want to delete it? Okay. So we just want to click okay. Now, we do, I haven't deleted all my files, but I uh, deleted quite a few. So we want to see what the percentage is down to now. Okay, now we want to go down and we want to see the percentage. I was at 88%. Now I have dropped down to 78%. That is a big drop from um, deleting the installation files. Uh, but if, if you do those three things to your file stick, you definitely will um, have more space for um, on your file stick, but you will eventually get that message on your file stick that you have no storage and you will have to do something or you won't be able to install anything else until you create more space. We did the um, uninstall the applications was the first step. The second step was clear the cache, or clear the cache. And the third and final step, we went to the ES File Explorer and we deleted the installation files and all those images or music if you have any. I didn't have any music. Uh, movies, I had one, I deleted it, and we re uh, moved it to the recycle bin. Once we moved it to the, once we moved it to the recycle bin, we deleted it, all of them out of the recycle bin. And it's just as simple as that, but uh, that's how you create more space on your file stick. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below. I try my best to answer all questions. Please uh, stay tuned for my next video next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day. God bless.